Good morning, good morning, hello and welcome back. You know what, this lighting is pretty bad right now. Hold on a second, hopefully I can adjust my camera for a second here, folks. Okay, if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming, folks, okay? So this is uh, unedited, obviously. This is a live as yet, folks. Okay, I'm just gonna change my angle. So I can, yeah, yeah, maybe this way, man, this, again, the sun is coming this way, so it, it is a little tricky, but you know what, we, we make it work, okay, we make it work here, I think this is a little better, uh, uh, welcome, okay, welcome to our morning live coffee program, so this morning, I'm going to show you guys how to create a lot of crema, okay, on your whatever you are using probably the express or pro so this my channel is more for someone has a pro or express even touch and again same goes for the regular commercial regular prosumer machine as well but it's more for entry level machine all right so let's talk crema okay is how many of you struggle to get lots of crema on your coffee yeah let me know in the comment section as well love to hear from you because the crema is just a uh, nothing but the CO2 is releasing from your coffee beans, that's it. Okay, just the CO2 releasing from coffee beans that looks amazing, all right, looks fantastic. So whenever you watch from like YouTube or Instagram, you know what, why my coffee is not, okay? I know some of you, see, I never, my coffees never look like that, okay? So I'm gonna explain to you why. It's all about the coffee, okay? It's all about the coffee, even someone say, Use your technique, could be your grind size, because most people knows how to adjust your grind size, okay? I mean, that's not the grind size, it's not the problem. Technique is not the problem, because most of you are watching my videos, you guys have proper techniques anyway, okay? I have faith in you, in you guys. It's all about the coffee beans at this point. So this is about, about three weeks old, coffee, okay? And I'm gonna compare that to so this is the coffee I just got uh, about three days ago, okay? So three days old, I have not opened it yet. So this is about three weeks. So I'm gonna show you side by side. Uh, let's pull the shot and see. Uh, you get to see the difference, okay? Uh, again, uh, make sure to join the live chat as well, okay? If you have any questions or comment, I'm gonna go through your question later, all right? Uh, we got some few people on this morning but meantime uh, let's get going i'm gonna flip the camera for a second here camera angle yeah this lighting is it's definitely problem here definitely problem but it's all right okay so again so this is about three weeks old coffee i mean still consider it fresh okay I like to measure out using the 18 gram at a time. I like to go 18. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna be using my bottomless. So you get to see it. Hold on a second here. I'm just gonna clean my lens, okay? It's a little fuzzy. Hopefully it looks the same. I was hoping for better clarity, but okay, here we go. So what here is what I'm gonna do. I know people talk about techniques. I, I, I'm just gonna attempt it, all right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do any kind of fancy techniques, I'm just gonna grind and just temp, okay? That's it, nothing more. No distribution, no WDT. Only thing I'm gonna be using is just uh, my puck there, okay? I'm just gonna add my puck screen and that's it. So this is about three weeks old coffee, okay? This is about three weeks old.
Take a look at the chroma. Okay, I mean, not a whole lot of crime out there. Not much. So that coffee is about three weeks old. Okay, three weeks old. It's not exciting. Okay, not exciting. Okay, so. So this is another coffee I just got. Uh, this is a uh, fresh. Okay, I consider. Okay, again, you got some crema on the top, but it's not that. Yeah, a little flat. Okay, looks, looks. I bet you they're still pretty decent. So this one is my friends at you know, uh, Good Brothers Coffee. There. So this is the darker roast. Okay, the medium to dark create a lot of crema by the way okay medium to dark is the key so let me open this up again we're gonna do 18 grams we're gonna do 18 gram at a time Okay, you see me with uh, my channel. Always I use a puck screen. So thi this is why I, I like to use it, that's it. Just getting a nice and dry puck. That's the only reason I use. Uh, someone says give you a better e extraction, maybe. But personally, I like the... Just gonna wash it here. Okay, so let's go on to second shot. Again, uh, I'm not doing any fancy WDTs or no distribution. I'm just going to go straight. Okay. I'm just going to straight, just temp. Because I want to show you the technique. Uh, I know most of you have good techniques anyway. Okay, I assume you guys are have pretty good technique. I'm just gonna add my puck screen. This is shot number two. Here we go. Let's take a look. Just give it a quick clean. Are you just joining us for the first time? Welcome to live streaming. All right, shot number two. Here we go. From the bottom. Do you see the, all that crime, out, folks?
Look at that. Okay, that's all crema. That's all crema there. There we go. See how much crema is come out. Just beautiful. Again. So there's no secret to it. Okay, there's no secret to uh, getting a lot of crema on your coffee. Okay, the secret is to just get the right coffee beans. Hold on, this lighting is terrible. All the sunlight's coming in here, so. Uh, comes to lighting in my kitchen, it's, it's not the best time. It's about almost eight o'clock right now. So uh, maybe I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna note to myself, okay? I'm not going live around eight o'clock. I mean, this is early. This lighting is just, just horrible. Anyway. So, so you see the beautiful crema. Okay. So let's try this shot. Okay. Here we go. Cheers. Too fresh. Okay. Beautiful to look at. That's a little too fresh. So, so this one is about three weeks old coffee. Here we go. Okay, comes to better tasting. So it's been rest pretty well. Comes to taste wise, I prefer this one. Okay. But comes to aesthetic as a look and feel for it. This is awesome. Okay, this is really fun. So this is great for milk based drink right now. Okay. If you're gonna enjoy as espresso, wait about a week, okay? Wait about six or seven days. It's gonna be prime. It's gonna be fantastic. So this is the too fresh, okay? It's about a couple of days old. So, so I mean, so th this is one of my favorite coffee. Whenever I get from uh, uh, Brent from Good Brothers Coffee, the liquid amber. I mean, if you like to make uh, content or Instagram or YouTube. I mean, this is the one, okay? So this is the one coffee to use, okay? This just give you that beautiful look and feel to it. It's fantastic. Uh, by the way, I do have a coupon code for that as well. I got, uh, Brent gave me, you guys, like 25% off coupon code for, I think it's been going on for the last three years now. So yeah, if you haven't used uh, his coffee yet, make sure to check it out as well. What else? So that's it. If you are just joining us, we are talking about the, uh, secret to crema. There's no secret. Okay, only secret is to just get the the freshly uh, fresh roast coffee with the medium to dark roast. Dark, dark uh, medium to dark is the best. Okay, especially darker roast even better. Just medium to dark, you're gonna get a beautiful, beautiful crema. And we are talking about the tasting a good taste espresso later. Okay, but. Again, if you cannot get a crema right now, change your coffee beans. That is our solution for you. So let's check out the, uh, let's see here. Now, time to look at your comments here. We got some few people on this morning. We got Richard, we got Eric, Master CJ, yep, Henry, Harry. Let's see here. Master CJ is saying, crema is my weakness. I need a pro tip. Yeah, again, get the fresh, uh, fresh, fresh roasted, medium to dark roast, okay? So that is the key. All right, nothing else. Let's do it, it's too old for crema. Um, they depend on the coffees. I mean, some coffee, you know what? Uh, I had a break. Again, I mean, this coffee here, go on for like even like four three four weeks to bring out a lot of crema too so it's all depend on the what kind of coffee beans but i mean i, I don't know what kind of blend the brent did but uh pretty good okay and then the project viewers say when did you get a camera upgrades uh no, it's the same iphone okay it's not a camera it's, i'm still using iphone right now yeah. Okay, with the glass jar. 
go. I think we are. Is there specialty coffee over? Okay, it's a uh, Surfy Duffy. Okay, ask is there specialty coffee overrated? Uh, depends on the coffee. All right. Uh, comes to specialty coffee, it's not overrated. Okay, but but that is at the price point. Okay, there's price point that one uh, once certain price point, it is. So my price point for specialty coffee is about twenty dollars. Okay, twenty dollars. Uh, if twenty or twenty-two dollars or beyond that, I mean goodness, it, it gets pretty pricey because this uh, uh, this specialty coffee company, they don't give you uh, sixteen ounce. Sixteen ounce is pound. They usually give you ten ounce or twelve ounce. They charge you for, you know, twenty bucks between, you know, sixteen and twenty per twelve ounce. Okay, because we are whenever we go to the grocery store, we are accustomed to get. 16 ounce per pound we pay what 20 bucks you know 15 20 bucks if you go to if you buy starbucks coffee you're looking at 16 bucks for one bag so i mean that's kind of like good comparison there i mean i don't mind paying extra uh, extra money for better quality coffee but if you pay 30 dollars 40 dollars yeah so just make sure you know do your research before Okay, so then ask, what is your opinion of upgrading from Bravo Vista Pro, upgrade to Apartmento? Okay, um, I get that question all the time. Okay, when I want to upgrade from uh, Bravo Express, Bravo Vista Express or Pro. So here's the one thing you have to ask yourself. Okay, hold on. So here's the one thing you have to ask yourself: Do you have the space? Okay, do you have the space? And they do have time to maintain it all right if the answer is no stick with the pro okay if the answer is yes i mean that's great obviously you have the money to spend it uh not only you rocket apartmento is not small okay a little bigger than this one plus you gotta get a grinder to the right next to it so whatever you space you have you gotta really give it a, a lot of thoughts okay I mean, we are, you are talking about about two twenty five hundred dollar investment there, because uh, Rocket Apartment you are set you back about sixteen seventeen hundred bucks. You gotta get a grinder for that as well, five or six. Plus, you gotta buy all the different tools because uh, they are fifty eight millimeter instead of a fifty four. So you might want to get a bottomless portafilter, filter, different tools. Yes, you are looking about three grand. Uh, if I were you, I'm gonna stay with the pro. Okay, I mean, that's like get free coffee machine. So that's the that's the Dan ask. All right, hold on a second here. So what's the difference in maintenance? Uh, obviously, it comes to maintenance. You gotta clean it. Okay, all the stainless steel you gotta clean it every single day because you're gonna see every smudge. So you're gonna polish that thing. And then you gotta do the back flush. It comes to the back flush. Uh, Bravo Vista Pro reminds you, okay. And the uh, Rocket Apartmento is not remind you, so you need to keep track of the back flush schedule. Is is more to it? All right, is more to it. Okay, hold on a second here. Okay, so Surfy Duffy has all I have at the moment is AeroPress and Hario Mini Meal. I mean, that's fine. I mean, uh, you, you're able to make great coffee with AeroPress, okay? Yep, I mean, that's great. All right, so good news just dialed in with uh, my first machine, Bambi. Bambino is, uh, they're, they're nice, okay? They are nice machine. I think if I'm going to get one for smaller space, I get the Bambino. Yeah with you know some decent grinder you're gonna be fine anyway i think we are good for this morning again uh if you are just joining us we just talk about the the crema okay again uh, the secret to getting a great crema is just the coffee get medium to dark roast freshly roast and that's it
when it comes to technique wise there's no a lot of technique there I mean as you saw in my video grind temp boom so nothing to it okay I mean again it's all about the coffee guys it's all about the coffee tools technique without a good coffee they're useless so just make sure get the good coffee anyway I hope you guys having a wonderful morning I'm gonna see you guys pretty soon okay we're gonna do some afternoon session as well so and then we should be good okay see you next time